welcome back to the Nintendo Wiretap. I'm your host, Amiibo Jason, and on today's episode, we have a doozy. There are a ton of amazing Nintendo stories, ranging from the Nintendo Switch outpacing the PS3 in Japan, we got new characters in Mario Kart Tour, we even have some brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons images, which I'm excited for. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Alright folks, coming up first, we're taking a look at Mario Kart Tour. Now, a few episodes back, you might remember we showed you silhouettes of new racers. Well, those new racers have been completely uncovered and are playable as of this morning. Now, the racers are a bus driver Waluigi, who's dressed in plaid for some reason. I'm not sure if bus drivers in Europe or in the UK have to dress in plaid. If you're in the UK, let me know. I could be completely wrong, but I don't think this is a bus driver's uniform. But either way, he's looking dapper, he's looking nice, and overall, I think this costume is pretty nice. Now, of course, for bus driver Waluigi, he has to be driving a bus, and that's what he has. So his special cart is essentially a double-decker bus, very similar to the ones that you would see in downtown London. So overall, I think the Waluigi addition to Mario Kart Tour is pretty nice, but I don't know if I'd be spending any real-world money for this skin. Now next up is Princess Daisy, and she is sporting her fanciest holiday getup. She's even wearing a super cute holiday beret. I guess if you're into that kind of thing. And her cart appears to be a sleigh, so if you're looking for some holiday goodness, this is definitely the one for you. But if I could only pick one, of course I'm picking my boy Waluigi. He is definitely deserving of some love. But there you go, the brand new characters in Mario Kart Tour's brand new London Tour. Now, are you guys still playing Mario Kart Tour? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of fallen off of the wagon for Mario Kart Tour. From time to time I'll jump back on, but it's not part of my daily routine anymore, but if you're still playing, let me know what you think of these costumes in the comments down below. Alright, coming in at number 2 today, the Nintendo Switch has outsold the PlayStation 3 in Japan. Now, the PlayStation brand may be celebrating its 25th anniversary this week, and honestly, I'm a fan of PlayStation, so happy birthday, PlayStation. Well deserved for all the amazing success you've had, but it looks like Nintendo decided to crash their party a bit, at least in Japan. Now, as of last weekend, the Nintendo Switch has officially surpassed the lifetime sales of the PlayStation 3, which, in my opinion, should be very much celebrated. Now, the PlayStation 3 had about 10.25 million Japanese lifetime sales. Now, the Nintendo Switch is up to 10.43 million. Kind of a crazy number if you think about it. So there you go. Happy birthday, PlayStation. You just got surpassed. What are you gonna do? <laughs> All right, coming in at number three today, we have some Animal Crossing news to cover, and I love this. It's been way too long since we've gotten Animal Crossing news, any images, so I'm super excited to cover this. So. At a special year-end event for Nintendo of Latin America, an announcement was made for one of 2020's most anticipated Nintendo Switch releases. Of course, that's Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, here's what's going on. It was announced that for the very first time, Animal Crossing New Horizons is going to be localized into Latin American Spanish. This is the very first time an Animal Crossing game has been localized for Latin American Spanish, so it's kind of cool. Now, alongside that, there's going to be cultural elements from Mexico included in the games. Now, included in this announcement were brand new images that show some kind of neat things, including some traditional Latin American attire. So, if you're in the mood to take a look at some brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons screenshots. I have a link to the Twitter account that first shared these, which is at Mapachi Rants, down in the description below. Now, are you guys just as excited as I am for Animal Crossing New Horizons? Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. And remember, we're just a few short months away from the game. All right, now finally today, we have a story that is also about Sony and Nintendo kind of crossing paths again, this time in a very happy way, I guess. We are getting confirmation that Sony Music is releasing a Mother 30th Anniversary vinyl. Now, the Mother series celebrated its 30th anniversary in 2019, a significant milestone for a series that has touched the hearts of so many people, myself included. And to celebrate, Sony Music is releasing a special 30th anniversary vinyl soundtrack on Christmas in Japan. I know, in Japan, not here. So if you want this, you're probably going to have to import it. 
Now it's going for 5,500 yen or a bit over 50 bucks. Now the good news is, is if you do want to pick this up, there is a non-30th anniversary edition of this up for sale right now on Fangamer for about 40 bucks. Not too bad, but if you are like me and you have to have the collector's edition, just wait. I'm sure import links are going to be coming out pretty soon. Stay tuned to Nintendo Wire on Twitter. We'll let you know as soon as that happens. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up tonight's episode of the Nintendo Wiretap. Once again, thank you for tuning in. I do want to thank all of you once again for watching the Nintendo Wiretap over the years. We are about 150 subscribers away from hitting our 100,000 subscriber milestone. So when that happens, we have some very special stuff planned right here on the Nintendo Wire YouTube channel. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I'll see you next time with yet another episode. But as always, until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys. Hey! <laughs>